Jason Hughes got a sneak peek at Tesla's upcoming V9 software release and tweeted a set of images of the screen. I thought we'd take a deep dive and look at what's coming up. The most exciting thing that I found was the drive on nav option under the autopilot settings. My best guess is that this enables the long awaited on ramp to off ramp feature Tesla has been talking about. From my research, this is what it will include. It will automatically change lanes based on traffic and will start to understand what's going on around the vehicle with new safety features. It will understand what lane the car is in, understand the route the user wants to travel, and ultimately hand back control to the user. I believe what they are shooting for is that once you're on a highway on the on-ramp, the Tesla will drive itself with steering, cruise, auto lane change if there's traffic, and it will automatically take the appropriate exit, passing back control to you on the off-ramp. Tesla's website describes it this way. Once on the highway, your Tesla will determine which lane you need to be in and when. In addition to ensuring you reach your intended exit, Autopilot will watch for opportunities to move to faster lanes when you're caught behind slower traffic. When you reach your exit, your Tesla will depart the freeway, slow down, and transition control back to you. Here's the new user interface for the car controls. You can see it's a completely new look. And if we first compare it to the Model S, uh, you can see how different it really looks menu-wise, user interface-wise, the buttons. But when we compare it to the Model 3, look at how similar they are. I've highlighted all the same the selections on the left and then the controls on the right, they even look almost identical to the Model 3. Notice that uh, this is a uh, Model S on the left with V9, so it has the sunroof and suspension options, which the Model 3 doesn't. The vehicle choice probably covers all the uh, missing items. And then notice that trips option on the left. Uh, that is probably something to do with the navigation uh, and uh, on-ramp, off-ramp, I suspect. Here you can see the browser as a window on top of the navigation. So the navigation is probably similar as the main focus, uh, like in the Model 3, and then the windows appear on top of it. Boy, I sure hope the Model 3 gets the browser feature. Next we see the music player. Uh, again, it's functioning or uh, user interface is very similar to the Model 3. And uh, again, it's laying over the uh, maps or navigation. Here's a, a deep look at the navigation uh, image. Uh, notice again, it is the full screen and has three navigation. Notice the same controls on the right and left, but they're reversed. And uh, I think that's going to be really useful because hopefully the uh, navigation steps uh, will be listed on the left-hand side, much easier to read. So if we look at the bottom of the V9 screen, uh, we can see that they mirrored the Model 3 uh, controls almost identically, uh, one for one. The only difference is the dot 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 uh, opens up to the other commands that are available, and uh, the Model 3 just had the uh, phone app. They put a circle around the uh, fan controls, but that's about it. Last but not least, it looks like they might be adding the Altari uh, Asteroids app. Boy, I wasted a lot of money on that app over the years when I was in college. Hey, thanks for watching. If you want to see some of my other Model 3 videos, they're here in the top right. And I just created a new channel, Nick's Pickleball Life, for my pickleball adventures. Check it out. If you're interested in purchasing a Tesla, you can use my referral code and get unlimited free supercharging. Uh, and please don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, everyone. Bye-bye.